So let's go there. Uh, how to reset this LG Phoenix 3 from AT&T, okay? First, uh, we're gonna power off the phone. And to power off the phone, just you're gonna do it straight from the power key, okay? Because if somehow if you just uh, turn off the phone by removing the battery, um, it doesn't uh, work with the shortcut that we're gonna perform to how to reset this phone by removing password pin or pattern blocking the screen of the phone, okay? So um, let's go and press the power key to power off the phone. Okay, and then you're gonna start from there. Okay, so with the phone power off, you're gonna use the volume down and we need to press this um, volume down properly, okay? And you're gonna use also the power key on the back of the phone. You're gonna press these two buttons together volume down and power and as soon as the LG logo appears you're gonna release just the power button just like one release and press for one second okay and but continue holding steady the volume down All right so you're gonna start using volume down press power properly sorry and the power key release press when the LG logo appears continue holding and when this logo appears, immediately release uh, both keys, okay? Um, <clears throat> even if in somehow you get your phone just uh, power on or restart, just um, start as we did at the, at the beginning to power all the phone and start over again. But make sure that you are, pressing, pressing, you are pressing properly the keys, okay? So now using volume down, we're going to highlight scroll and highlight uh, erase all user data that's what we need to do so just highlight and press yes and then our enter is going to be the power key on the back of the phone and erase all user data restore default settings let's go to highlight yes it's already highlighted so yes it's already highlighted and press so this um like I said before, this uh, we're gonna release everything on your phone, like pictures, videos, contacts, emails, uh, music, downloaded applications, and also we'll remove password, pattern, or pin blocking the screen of the phone. And it is very, very important that you know your Google account because after the factory reset, you will have to confirm a Google account that it was previously registered on this phone. If you fail to confirm Google, you want to be able to get to the home screen. So just so you know and make sure that you have that um, because if not, then you won't be able to get to the home screen. Okay, so if you are ready, uh, just um, press the power key to confirm to delete all user data. And here is going to take a few seconds. There you go, so the phone is erasing every information. Okay, so here's gonna take a few minutes, like five to eight minutes to uh, for us to take us to the initial setup, okay? So where we are going to select our language and then uh, con continue registration, a few things, and then we'll be able to get to home screen on this LG Phoenix 3 from at and <clears throat> and in somehow it, in case that your uh, phone gets stuck on the at and logo or LG logo then that means that something is wrong uh, well actually not wrong but we need to actually calibrate the motherboard so if that is, the, is your case just remove the battery or long press the power key to power off the phone and then start over again the same process, okay? Um, because sometimes, like, we download a lot of applications, uh, many email addresses, um, a lot of downloading history, and so on, so on. So that's why the, the motherboard somehow needs to calibrate. So you can do this hard reset up to like seven to eight times to help the phone or the motherboard to. Uh, work properly and then you will be able to actually get to the home screen okay uh, and also if you experience a lot of drop calls or you are using your phone it just goes over something then 
Uh, that means that well, with this process, you can also calibrate firewall and help the help the phone to work properly. Sometimes it's not it's not AT and T uh, issue. So just it is the phone. So, but remember, if you do this hard reset, you you need to first do your backup, like save all your information like videos, pictures, contacts to your Google account. Okay, and you have to know your email address and password because after the hard reset, then you need to with the same email address that you will be able to restore all your information or data okay so just so you know all right so now we are on the initial setup uh, english is selected automatically let's go to uh, for now you can go ahead and insert an active AT&T sim card if you already have one or just um, <coughs> you can register a wi-fi to have a network in order to confirm google okay and okay so now skip anyway for now we won't be able to we won't use any um data package okay and google services uh, i su suggest you to have google location service on that means that anything that you will start searching on google engine the first addresses or businesses you are searching are going to be on your phone's location okay so um it's very very important that um, keep that on so you can take advantage of Google services improve location accuracy with Wi-Fi uh, we will receive periodically information about any Wi-Fi available in your area so you can actually um, save your data package from your carrier and to leave this one on is to receive any not any updates for your Android from Google so just leave everything on nickname, nickname for your phone uh, you get to lose your phone and somebody else find it after many attempts to guess your lock screen um, Google will consider that your phone has been compromised so they want to ask them to verify the nickname of your phone if they fail to confirm nickname they won't be able to access to the phone and of course, um, they will be able to ask access to your personal information. So, yeah, I recommend you to set a nickname for your phone. Lock screen, pattern, pin, or password. You can go ahead and, and, and select a lock screen for your phone. But you can also, not now, you can do this after from settings. Okay, let's go skip anyways. Okay, setup and transfer. This is a feature that AT&T has. That you can transfer anything stored on your current uh, AT&T phone to the new one. So just connect to AT&T Wi-Fi or something like that, and then start scanning. Next. So for now, you're gonna go ahead and exit. <coughs> All right, so um, terms and conditions you're usually going to have to agree with the first one because if we fail to do so, you, we won't be able to get to the home screen. Okay, um, well, these two are optional, but this one is missed, like you need to have to agree. Okay. We are on the main screen of this LG Phoenix 3 and yeah if you have any other questions let me know in comments and please subscribe to my channel uh, so you can have my videos as a reference in the future in case that you need any other help with your smartphone or also um, so you can have my other, other, other tutorials regarding to this model um, like uh, uh, disable talkback if uh, for accident you uh, activate the talkback or the google keyboard has disappeared or dial keypad or anything else that you may have issue with your the phone in the future just subscribe and you can have my all my videos 
and just leave a like on this video if this was helpful to you and share my videos on your social page thanks so much